This is a public service announcement. <laughs> right. Out. I have had it up to here with people asking for foot photos. Why do you want a picture of my foot? Why do you want to see it? This is what I want to know in life and it baffles me, blows my brain cells out of my head and into just like the realm of existence. Fair enough. Like what you like. Do you know what I mean? Just like crack on, do your thing, but don't project your fetishes onto innocent people who happen to have a foot by accident in a photo. I don't intentionally whack a foot photo up and just be like, all right guys, here's my foot. Do what you want with it. Go to town on the photo of my foot. I don't do that. How dare I have my foot out in a photo? Lord, be with me if I put my foot in a photo because then it will get taken and we put on a page for foot fetishes and it's become a trend of people uh, messaging me and just volunteering to uh, pay me to send them photos of my feet. Now I've looked into this before and this is what it comes down to. Are people cleaning up on foot photos? Is there people selling photos of their feet and making bare money from it? I believe there is. And I feel like I'm missing out here. Literally, I'm just editing this video now and OnlyFans has just been hacked and it's trending worldwide. So not missing out on much anymore, apparently. Out of curiosity, like I'm just gonna Google it. Why do people have foot fetishes? Sigmund Freud, he seems legit. Why do people have foot fetishes? I need like two sentences and then I'll be happy. An Arkansas man identified as the toe suck fairy. <laughs> was arrested Monday, September 26, following a series of incidents in which he allegedly approached women in stores, commented on their feet and asked to suck their toes. I mean, I've had this before, but online. Like I've never had, luckily, touch wood, had someone come up to me in real life and be like, hey, uh, your feet look quite nice underneath those shoes. Can I suck your toes? Cause I would be like, what on earth? Sigmund Freud claims that people sexualize feet because they resemble penises. Right, Sigmund Freud, you haven't helped me. Everything you need to know about foot fetishes. A foot fetish is a sexual interest in feet. This particular preference for feet can vary from person to person, i.e. I don't have a foot fetish, but apparently quite a lot of people, especially on social media, do. Is it common? It's considered a mainstream sexual kink. Humiliation aspect. One psychological element of a foot fetish is humiliation. Feet are often considered below people. Submission and domination is a power play. So I feel like this is where we get into the root of the foot fetish now, domination. If your partner has a foot fetish, they may want you to treat them like a human footrest. Let's just go for fun on my DMs quickly, because I have had some for the past few days. Before we jump into that, I'm coming at you live still from my editing experience and the update on the OnlyFans leak. So I tweeted about it and straight away, someone has replied with the username feet guy, foot fetish guy 89, telling me you should make one for your feet about OnlyFans. So this kind of gives you an example of what I have to deal with on Twitter. <laughs> First one says sell feet pics, question mark. Well, no, I won't be doing that, but I've had an offer here. We've had an offer. Would you seriously be up for selling feet pics? When I say I'm gonna sell my feet pics, I am joking. Are you maybe up for it? What would I have to do for you to reply? A hundred pounds, question mark. So this kind of like highlights to me that you could make some money from selling foot pics. But as far as I'm concerned, why are you asking? Why am I the target here? So what? We need to know, guys, what is OnlyFans? Because I heard whispers in the wind. How much money can I make on OnlyFans for feet pictures? Tell me Google. How to sell feet pics. A beginner's guide to selling feet pics online. So I know that I've got the audience, like we've got the taster for it. So like, what were my options hypothetically be if I was gonna sell feet pics? I'm not going to. Selling feet pics. It started as a quasi meme. Uh, what, does anyone else know what that word means? Because but it's quickly grown into a lucrative source of income for many people. Intrigued, I was surprised to find that there really wasn't much information online about selling feet pics. Yeah, because people don't want the competition, mate. First and foremost, treat this like a business. The gig isn't for everyone. It's important that you go into this knowing who you are and what you are not willing to do. For example, you may choose not to show your face. It may be a good idea to have a policy in place beforehand that no matter how much money is offered, you will not meet up with buyers. Okay, build your brand. This market is flooded with other sellers. There's 
a lot of feet in the world because if you think about it, we like uh, most people, not everyone, two feet we're all born with, quite a lot of people in this world. So that makes quite a lot of feet if you think about it. Know what sets you apart from everyone else. Do you have super long toes and the ability to pick things up with them? Can you put your feet behind your head? Right. <laughs> Can you put, this is serious. Can you put your feet behind your head? <laughs> oh. So, ow, I'm determined. Can you put your feet? Ah. I, I touched it. That was hard graph, right? So we can tick that off the list. Are you able to lick your own? I don't think I can, but like I can definitely like get my foot to my mouth. So, you know, I don't know what my USP would be. Um, they're just my feet. I didn't ask for the foot fetish life. The foot fetish life found me, so everyone can tell me what my USP point is because I don't know. Build your audience. If you don't already have Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Kick, Snapchat, Reddit, and Whisper, f***ing hell. You should have a, a picture editing app, a payment app, PayPal. There's so much here. Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, this is me. Sellers get most engagement on these three apps by posting with one or two hashtags. Build your followers up at least 100 on these platforms, right? I've definitely got 100. Interact with other sellers, follow other accounts and try to make friends. So we've got a network in the foot fetish world. Having friends who also sell comes in handy because you can collaborate. You could do like joint foot photos. Pricing, okay, the juicy stuff. Pricing, have a base price for the first photo and then add an additional cost per photo. For example, charge 10 pound for the first. Mate, I've already had a 100 pound offer. I'm not going 10, I would go like 200 quid or more. If you choose to do videos, up the price, but yeah, obviously triple the price for a video. I hope this guide helps you to create an awesome following and make a decent stream of side income. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Well, you are the real MVP. Whoever wrote this, Lilith B Love. But I don't know how we've gone down this path. The message that I am trying to say is, I'm not selling my food. And for people who make accounts called Elsa, which is foot or feet on Twitter, go, I just don't know for you. I don't know for you. I don't know what's going on. I am not gonna sell my feet photos. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna sell photos of my feet. And basically the whole point of this pointless video is to just say once and for all public service announcement. I will not, I can't do anything without being in the right. I will not sell photos of my feet online. Here is my foot. There you go. It's got these decent socks as well, Rick and Morty. This is my foot. It will be hidden for the rest of humanity because I can't trust anyone online to just be a normal human being and not project your foot fetish onto me. So yeah, as which is socks, you can make that account. How about that? <laughs> In all serious, what I would love to know is, and anyone could help me if they want, if anyone does this, like as a little side hustle, I'd love to know the ins and outs. And also, if you do have a foot fetish, I would love to like delve into the brain of the uh, foot fetish and see what's going on, why it happens. Yeah. I don't know what this video was about, obviously foot fetish. I don't know the purpose of it. I just, you know when you have like a burning sensation and you need to get something off of your chest. And that is how I feel about people approaching me for foot photos. There we go. Foot photos never land. Foot photos pending, never. Maybe in another life. Check me out, I've, I've got a backup option. Jump on the feet. And for anyone who does have fetishes, go for it. Do you know what I mean? Just do your own thing, but sometimes just like, Leave it out if you don't know someone. But anyway, thanks for watching. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to because if you've come here thinking there's gonna be foot, photos, feet, then you've come to the wrong place. I know I wouldn't suggest subscribing, but if you wanna stick around, then go ahead because oh, I've got plenty more where this has come from. I will tell you that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon, bye-bye.